How's it going guys? Welcome back to a new video. This is literally my first video recorded with this uh, G7X camera and let me know how you guys think about this. In this video, we're gonna look into uh, Facebook Graph API. So uh, basically, we will use it to post uh, status on Facebook page. And without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so what we can see right now is one of my Facebook page. It's uh, related to uh, say life, uh, love, work, learn and more like uh, leaderships, uh, finance, friends. So basically uh, this page is all about positivity. I normally uh, post uh, say uh, quotes from all famous people and more you can uh, check this out so you can just go to Facebook and search for uh, cut or things so basically cut is uh, in Cambodian language is called just the meaning of uh, thinking so you can search for it and uh, we will in a few minutes uh, I'll try to use a graph API to post status uh, to this so uh, what is graph API from Facebook Right now, uh, we can just go to this page and see the overview of it. So uh, it's basically uh, read and write to the Facebook social graph and uh, they contain all of the SDK or product that related to all of these things. And um, we will actually, uh, in this video, we will use the graph uh, API Explorer to uh, test our posting status to the Facebook page as I showed you a minute ago. And um, we can just go to this uh, page as well, like the overview. So I'm gonna open it in a new page and also a quick look into using the graph API. So this one, this is the one that we're gonna look into. And uh, let's now look into the um, overview. So again, it's uh, basically a way to get data into or out of Facebook platform and uh, it's an HTTP based API, all of these things. And it basically it contain uh, these three, um, co composed of three uh, elements. So nodes, edges, and also fields as well. And this is all the HTTP. So, yep, we just quickly look into this to get a uh, basic idea of what it is like. And uh, we also use this, um, Basically, Facebook use the terminology and structure in the API document goes into detail uh, with all of the HTTP uh, access token. So access token is very important. If we don't have the access token, there's no right or there's no permission or uh, the access to post all those status as well. So this is very important and I will show you how to get the access tokens. So this is how it works. Basically, we need to go through the login access, uh, the login uh, process. So say if I'm going to use my Facebook page, uh, a Facebook account, and then I want to actually get access to that uh, this page API, uh, this page access token, then how I'm going to do it, I'll show you in a minute. And this is what it looks like in the, um, the developer tool. This, this one here and this is all uh, various SDK uh, contain like say Android SDK uh, iOS or JavaScript this is all the code and this is the reading so next one here is this is the one that we look into the posting to a page so it's uh, like if an editor posts a new article on Facebook it require like uh, all of this article from this um, prerequisite so we have to be the admin of the posting page so I already uh, the admin of the page so this is uh, a tick already and the next one here like I said uh, this is we need to get the access token with the manage page and public page permission so I'll show you uh, how to have this uh, permission set up and once we have all the access tokens and uh, with the current permissions we are able to uh, post status to the Facebook page and this is the basically like the success message saying that the uh, posting to the Facebook page has been done successfully uh, this is 
this is basically like uh, the example you can see that posted by graph uh, API Explorer and this is the testing say uh, hello fans and this is the delete method and a lot more here all right so um, last one here I'm gonna show you the access token um, the long life one so basically for the one that say if I'm gonna show you in a minute uh, it won't last for a long time so it only lasts for say uh, within one days only and how we're gonna extend the access token to say uh, one or basically two months uh, 60 days and I'll show you how to do that as well and uh, we just look quickly look into this one say in uh, for the iOS Android and JavaScript SDK it will uh, last for around 90 days uh, within the SDK so basically you have to log in uh, into your own account and uh, that will last for 90 days if you uh, gonna use uh, through this uh, method here and um, a for the Facebook SDK get long life access to good for around uh, 60 days for the native uh, mobile apps and uh, the token refresh once per day and when people are actually using your app make a request to Facebook server uh, if no requests are made then it's around 60 days and it have to go through the login access again to get a new token um, so this is what we need the access token the app ID and the uh, app secret all right so um, these are all of the graph how the access token works and stuff and it's been six uh, more than six minutes already and um, I'm gonna show you right away how to do that so first uh, we need to go to the developers.facebook.com and here under the my apps you so this is one of my previous one uh, we need to go to the create app so just click on that and then uh, here is the display name uh, just give it a name so in this case I'm gonna call it a uh, graph API um, post status pages uh, just page uh, remember that we cannot use uh, the name that contains say like Facebook Instagram or something I'm gonna show you that uh, it won't work when we use this name so you can see that here it is it says like uh, Facebook face whatever that related to Facebook it what uh, not gonna work so we need to delete this and uh, this should work fine just uh, make sure that we are not robot click on the security check and uh, select all the cars All right, click submit. All right, so um, this is all we can see. This is different products like say Facebook uh, login, or uh, the web hooks, uh, Instagram, mm, a lot more here. But what we need to do, we need to go to the tools and select on the first one, Graph API uh, Explorer. So here you can see that this is uh, what the interface look like and by default you normally won't get the public page permissions uh, ticked by default. So what you need to do, you need to actually go to this, uh, click the three options or two uh, options selected by default. Then you need to scroll down to click on this. So I just want to show you, I will deselect this one first and then um, I'm going to show you how you're going to set it up. So by default it looks look something like this. So then you need to click on this option and click on the publish uh, pages permission. And that's not done yet. You have to click on the get access token. And continue as the name and this is the page. And now just click on done. Linking the graph to Facebook. And uh, that's all done right now. Just click on OK button. All right. So now we have three of these uh, three permissions already set up. And next step, what I need to do, I need to go to the 
uh, remember don't click on the user token we need to actually post a status to Facebook page then we need to go to the uh, page access token and this is the page that I just show you uh, think and uh, make sure to click on that one so this is the access token that we have right now and we will um, use this uh, token but uh, before that we come to this page uh, come to the left hand side here and we see that there are three methods like get post or delete uh, what I need to do I need to go to the post status because I want to post a new status to my Facebook page and um, here we if we go to this page again we will see like a sample here says that what we need to have is to actually following these um, formats so here this is uh, we need to have the uh, Facebook page page ID and slash feed that what we need to do and how to get the page ID then uh, you need to go to the page itself and click on the about page scroll down only you have the access to see the page ID and uh, just copy the page ID here go back to the graph uh, API Explorer then paste it right here slash feed all right so to post a Facebook uh, page uh, status what we need to have for the parameter here we can have a look again we need to have the message uh, parameter so right here I can just click on the add parameter and enter the key which is message and this is the uh, value that we want uh, to post so I just do the quick one first testing uh, post status to see if it's actually working and then what's next is to basically I think um, that's already done so what's the next step the final step is to click on the submit button and see if we actually get it um, successfully posted on our Facebook page so here it is like I said uh, this is one of the uh, message saying that it's already uh, successful so now let me go back here and click on uh, to refresh the page again to see if it actually posted on the uh, our Facebook page here alright so here we go we can see that the testing post status is already posted on the Facebook page it's just now and it's also mentioned that it published by graph API here and uh, I'm going to delete this for now because uh, otherwise other people can actually following this uh, Facebook page can also see that as well and um, so what I need to do next so come back to this screen you can see that the access token when I click on this uh, symbol it says that it's uh, this is the page and um, the expiration date is actually this is uh, on the February of 15 which is today so like I said it's only last for within a day and uh, this is the one that I don't actually want I want to extend this uh, access token then what I'm gonna do next here is to click on the open in access token tool uh, I want to extend that token so we need to go to the bottom of the page we can see that here's the button saying like uh, extend the access token and I need to enter my password again all right so now here we can see that this long live access token will expire on the 15 so basically it lasts for 60 days two months time and uh, what I need to click uh, to copy this I'll need to click on the debug button here so here is the one that I actually want to click on that and uh, copy it so right now I need to go back to this here and I need to replace the existing one which only lasts for one day I paste it here and now remember to click on the uh, get page access token again click on continue as my name and now let me click on this again to see if it actually extended All right so here you can see that um, the uh, expiration date now extend to two months time and uh, 
let me try to do it again so in this uh, example I'm gonna say basically like posting a quote status so I would say something like life doesn't require that we be the best only that we try our best so this is one of my favorite quote and um, I'm going to click on the submit button again so you can see that there's an issue because we actually have to select this as I uh, mentioned earlier as well and uh, click again to see if it actually uh, posted on our Facebook page so now let me refresh this again and see if it actually successfully got posted on the Facebook page. So here we go. Uh, this is the quote that I just posted through our API Explorer here. And uh, I'm not gonna uh, remove this status. You guys can actually come and have a look into this page and see if this actually still exists or not. And this is posted using the extended uh, access API. So for the uh, next one here, before we finish this video, I can also click on the get code as well. So say if I want to actually test it using the uh, terminal or maybe Facebook SDK, this is the code that I require. And this is the iOS SDK, JavaScript SDK that will look something like this, uh, PHP and also the uh, this one as well, the terminal. So I can actually copy this one and uh, let me paste it into my notepad. I'm going to uh, just put it into one line, something like this. And uh, this is uh, all the access token, and um, this is the message. And uh, I want to actually test that again. So, second testing, second test. Uh, make sure if uh, I have like a space in between then I need to use the percent uh, 20 then uh, I just want to do testing so I uh, just copy this one here and go to my uh, terminal or command prompt or CMD and then just paste it right here so this is what it look like I click on the enter button so now we can see that we can also use the um, CMD or terminal command prompt to post our status through this as well. So uh, let me refresh this again and see if it, this uh, method also works. So here you go. We can also use this command prompt to post our status here as well. I'm going to delete this one as it is for testing. And um, I think that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Uh, in the next video, we might look into how to actually uh, get the access or uh, login access by using that. Because otherwise, say if we're going to use this, uh, we only have access for two months time. And then after the two months, we need to actually renew this access token again to do it again and again. But if we have the access, uh, login access, so say if we have the all the SDK, or maybe um, JavaScript SDK here related to the uh, React tutorial that I used to do before, then uh, it would be a good idea because uh, if uh, it's already expired, then we just click on a button to log in with the username and password, then the access token will automatically renew. We don't need to go to this page and then uh, just keep renewing again and again. So uh, we probably more likely to look into that one in the next video. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video.